A state fair favorite will soon serve flavors of the Caribbean from a new kitchen. You may have tried West Indies soul food at the International Bazaar. Now the owner is cooking up a new way to fill her community's hearts and bellies. She shared her recipe for success with our Aaron Hassansada. So the takeout is going to be right in this area right here. Sharon Richards Noel started West Indy Soul Food decades ago in a North Minneapolis church kitchen. I'm from Trinidad. I've been around people from down south. I've been around people from Jamaica. So that's why I call it West Indy Soul Food. It's cooking from the soul. Over the years, you've seen her at the Midtown Global Market, in her food truck, and out at the State Fair. And soon, you'll find her here. I'm tired of just jumping from kitchen to kitchen. Along University Avenue in St. Paul. And I saw this when the building first went up, and I looked at it and I was like, that's my kitchen. We really wanted to provide some affordable space uh, and bring vibrancy um, back to University Avenue. But this place won't just be a kitchen cooking up great food. It'll also be a place to serve young people. We're going to have a culinary art part of it where we're going to teach um, kids culinary art skills. Using lessons from her own experiences, Sharon will incorporate a youth community program to complement her food. It's going to focus mostly on helping kids um, have those mindset skills to be able to have better resiliency, to be able to know how to make decisions when times are really tough. So that person going to be the server handing that person the food. Okay. And if anyone knows that recipe for success, people come in the back, hey, Sharon, how you doing? I'm like, hey, how you doing, girl? It's you Sharon. Know, so I've learned a lot being in the, in the industry for a long time. So now I'm like, OK, I'm ready to show you guys what I have. In St. Paul, Aaron Hassanzada. I don't stop. I just continue moving forward. WCCO 4 News. Sharon is still fundraising for her space, which will feature a takeout counter and catering business. She's hoping to have a grand opening this summer and then start the youth program in the fall.